Today we will talk about the psychological preparation before the race. Everything that you did physically in training has already been done. All training is over. There is no magic exercise the day before a competition that will make you faster. All you have is the work that you have done in months and weeks of preparation. The foundation that you laid at the beginning of the season is what you will have to prove yourself in the competition. But there is something else that can be done to make the performance much better and better. You can adjust yourself psychologically. There are several ways to do this. First, it is important to formulate realistic expectations for your performance based on your training performance in the last weeks before the competition. This is very necessary, on one hand in order to save oneself from disappointment as a result, and on the other in order to optimally distribute forces along with the distance. At the same time, take into account your performance in the last control workouts and your current state of health. Remember that stress, poor sleep, and heavy workloads affect the state of the body and the ability to show this or that result. Secondly, in a few days, maybe a week, overnight, or even when you're waiting for your race, visualize your run. Visualization allows you to imagine yourself as the winner. Also, make a plan for the race so that you know what to do, how best to run the race, and if something does not go according to plan, know how to proceed. For example, you are preparing for a race without thinking about anything at all, do not come up with visualization, and when you react to the actions of rivals, one of them may accelerate sharply in the first 50 meters. And if you do not have a plan of action, you can chase him and then you run according to their plan and suddenly you lose the race. Now let's look at the other side. If you drove your race before your eyes prior to the start, you thought over every step, if not every, then at least over four phases of running. The start, transition to distance running, going straight, and the finish. If you think these things through, you will no longer care that someone started abruptly from the start. You do not care at all what they do because you know exactly what to do, you are sure that you have prepared well psychologically, you know your strengths and you are ready to win. However, visualization will not help you win every race, but it will prepare you better than your competitors. If you want to catch up with someone from the start, you know that they may not be ready for this, but you on the contrary dictate the course of the race. Thirdly, runners need to be able to cope with competitive and training stress, know their optimal level of activation and be able to achieve it when necessary. Think back to the most mentally successful training or competition. Describe how it felt before the start, how your body felt, what thoughts helped to stay in focus, what the mood was. It is important for someone to be venturesome, to share it with friends. Calmness and concentration before the race give the best state for realizing their level of training. Think about what actions can lead to this optimal state, list them as a mental warm-up plan for a workout or start. Despite the seeming simplicity of running sports, the inclusion of regular training in everyday life, exposure to increased physical exertion, the severity of some workouts and competitions create additional stress on the athlete's psyche. It is important for runners to be able to cope with them and take care of their psychological well-being. Without it, being able to achieve maximum results will be difficult. 